The Committee of Natural Resources and Environment is mandated to monitor, supervise and also oversee activities and performance of the Ministry of Water and Environment, Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development, plus all the government entities under them. A year as the chairperson of this committee, Dr. Otim Emmanuel Otara, also new MP for West Budama South, says his committee members and the entire August House in general are proud of its achievements in the first session. The committee worked on and concluded three very important bills. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline Bill, Electricity Amendment Bill 2022, and Mining and Minerals Bill 2021, with two of them already having been assented to by the president. And it has now opened up the way for Uganda to develop the oil and gas sector. And so we are looking forward to seeing Uganda's first oil. The other very important bill that we champion was uh, the mining and minerals bill. As you might be aware, the National Planning Authority recognizes the mining sector as a potential area that could contribute to, to, to faster achievement of social economic transformation. Now, the third bill that we champion was the Electricity Amendment Bill. And this bill, uh, to give you just a highlight of the key amendments that we made, one, we provided for very stringent penalties for people who steal power, but also those who tamper with the electrical installation. During the first year of the 11th Parliament, Dr. Otim says the Committee on Natural Resources registered several other achievements. We also undertook a number of oversight to uh, the Katosi water plant. We also undertook field visits especially in respect to electrical installations. We visited in a number of areas, especially in the north and the eastern part of the country, where we saw the kind of energy mix that the country, or rather the Ministry of Energy, is now pursuing. For a legislator to be described as good, he or she must carry out the functions expected of them, and the main functions are making laws, representing constituencies, and oversight, among others, which functions Dr. Otala has ably executed in the first session. My, my committee has now established itself, and we are hopeful that we shall be given another chance to continue serving Despite the achievements, there are a number of issues that the committee failed to address. However, there is hope full attention will be given to them in the next session. We had intended to, to visit the gold mines in Mubende. We had a plan to visit the gold mine in Busia. We had intended to visit the, to visit the, the, the Mabo quarry in Karamoja and the gold mines there, we were unable to do all that. Uh, as you may be aware, if government doesn't come up with the legislative agenda, we are empowered as a committee to, 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 to recommend that we pursue such and such a legislative Limited funding and time are the major challenges Dr. Otala cites as having been stumbling blocks to his committee's 100% accomplishment of its work for the first session. Over 80% of the work that Parliament does is done through committees. So, which means if committees are not financially facilitated, Parliament virtually has no work. Mr. Otala also sheds some light on implementation of committee recommendations. Parliament, we have no authority to compel them to take it. It is just advisory to them. So if they find wisdom in what we have recommended, they will take it as executive. If they don't see any wisdom, they will neglect. But we would have done our duty 
in the best interest of the citizens. Otala is former state minister for labor from 2009 to 2011. He also served as minister of state for health in charge of primary health care from 2006 to 2009 and was also legislator for West Budama South in the 9th parliament. He returned to the country in 2019 from self-imposed exile in the USA where he had spent seven years. The Natural Resources Committee he chairs is one of the best committees that performed well in the first session of the 11th Parliament. Shamim Naiga and Gloria Gutabinji, Parliament.